got three looks. And that's it. Yeah. Could I interest you in everything, all of the time? A little bit of everything, all of the time. Well, well, look who's inside again. CEO entrepreneur, born in 1960. Chicken. Like fuck it is. That there is a dunk. Ah. No. Uh -huh. Chicken. Chicken. Quack, cock. Bread devourer. Egg layer. Duck slayer two is stripe you fucking bastard. Dave, Jesus fucking. She's my sister, you ass. And she's like six years old. Bullshit. She was six years old in 1973. She's like 50 years old by now. Yeah, yeah, for once, Dave's right. If I were still alive, I'd probably be a crazy cat lady by now. Here's a really motivational story on how you can change your behaviors. I want you to imagine a crop field late summer evening. You go through the crop field once, and then you look back. Can you see where you've gone? No, not really. You go through a hundred times, can you see where you've gone? No, yeah, you've probably created a small path. You go through this crop field 10,000 times this summer, what have you created? Almost a paved road. Every single behavior you have in your brain has one of these roads, one of these paths. And one day you say, I don't want this behavior anymore. I don't want it. It hurts me. It hurts my family. It hurts my friends. It hurts my future. I want a new behavior. So you walk 10 meters to the right and you start treading up a new path. After 10 times your brain goes, but this takes more energy. I don't want to do this. It goes back to the old one. The only thing you have to do is persist on the new one over and over again. And the old one will grow up and disappear again. That's how all your behaviors work. Keep on working on them. A boy and a girl were playing and the boy had this beautiful collection of marbles and the girl had a box of the sweetest candy you could find. So the boy proposed that, hey, can I give you all my marbles and I get your candies? And the girl accepted. So the girl gave him all the candies and the boy gave her all the marbles but one kept the most beautiful marble to himself. That night, the boy was lying in bed, twisting and turning, wondering, did she give me all the candies? So did she keep, come, maybe the best ones for herself? The morale of the story is this, that if you don't give 100% in your relationship, you'll always doubt your partner in your relationship. Did you know male bees die after mating? That's their whole life. Honey Nut Cheerio. <laughs> and also, I have been doing a proper gangster thing and properly going to the high school and just stand there and staring out every single teacher. All the teachers have been coming out and going, no bad influence, you like, and I've been going, fucking come here, I knew you little fucking doyle cunt. I'll fucking keep you fucking heeding. Whenever I go to bed, I always make sure I put on my ski mask. So if I do get burgled, the thieves will always think I'm one of them. Yo, fam, is that you? Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> You're a joker still. You got me, fam. You're funny. Come on, let's go. Feds are coming. And that's how I ended up robbing my own house. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Come in. Come in. Jack the halls with little kids. Fa la 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 la. Stuff them in old suits and wish. Fa la 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 la. Where did the kids go? I don't know. Fa la 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 la. I'm the purple man, you know. Fa la 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 la. Yeah, I'm here with Louis. Louis eight times seven. Fuck knows me. What does mush mean? <laughs> For you, tell me. All right. Well, am I mush? Well, are you a mush? All right. Black mush, yeah. Come on. Black all right. Mush, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Let me roll him. Bounce it. All right. Wait. Quick question. Do you reckon you could take me in a fight? Will I? Really? Knock fuck out yeah. Me? Yo. Bro, you know who my dad is? Uh, yeah. <laughs> like who give a fuck? Good, so you reckon if we go down that alley right now and sell it, me and you, you, you do me. Well I listen, no one can put your jokes up. <laughs> get the jukes up. Put your jokes up. So, so you want us to do? We'll go get the jukes up. Right now, back alley. Right now, back alley. Right guys, be right now. Alright, so let me get on to the last question like I was saying. Oh, wait, we're starving here, be sharp. Right, starving, so go and eat that big scran up in there. Alright, so you gonna rob anything for me? No. Who off you? Yeah, no, Rob. Let's fuck out Rob off you, is it? No, no, I'm a, no, I'm in there. 
Can steal me? Yeah, loaded chicken. Loaded chicken. Uh, loaded chicken. Uh, how do you know I like chicken? <laughs> Wax food smell like one. Tomorrow. 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 It's tomorrow. No, it's tomorrow. Butter. 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 Listen. Butter. Butter. Hello. Uh, I've got a parcel for your next door neighbour. You've got the wrong fucking house then, mate. I believe how drunk you are. I am not drunk. Yes, you are. I am not fucking drunk. Can you tell the time? Yes. I am not fucking drunk. Whenever you're in the UK, don't cut in line, don't refuse a cup of tea, and... No, no, we will not force you to drink tea, especially if you're unconscious, because British people say it with me, unconscious people do not want tea. Roses are red, bees live in a hive, if you're British you are probably stuck on the fucking M25!